I would like to share with you a banana pudding recipe that has been in my family for as long as I can remember. The only way we can name this pudding is after my mother who was called Granny. And so this is a Granny's banana pudding. To begin we're going to mix the dry ingredients which is one and a half cups of sugar, six teaspoons of flour, and a dash of salt. We're going to stir up the ingredients, combine them. Just use a fork. You don't have to use a whisk on this. Set it aside. And for the wet ingredients, we're using four egg yolks and we're going to whisk these until they're smooth. And now we're going to combine gradually three cups of milk I want to get it really good incorporated there. And we're going to add the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients. We're going to really stir this up, whisk it a bit. Mmm, this is real vanilla pudding. Add the pudding mixture to a saucepan with three tablespoons of butter. We're going to continually stir. And we're going to stir on medium heat until the butter melts and the mixture thickens. This is so much better than box vanilla pudding. It's nothing to compare the taste. When the mixture begins to bubble, you're almost there. Just keep stirring. Take the pudding mixture off of the stove and add one teaspoon of vanilla. And while that's cooling, slice up four bananas. Uh, we like to have a mixture of actually more cookies than bananas. But it's whatever your preference would be. If you like to have less cookies or less bananas, that's fine. It'll taste as, just match it to your taste. Okay. Today we're serving Granny's Banana Pudding out of Granny's Pottery Bowl. It's a hull and it was one of her special bowls and it was always filled with banana pudding. To assemble this banana pudding we always start with vanilla wafers. One of the favorite things for us to bite into brings back tons of memories every time I make it which is very precious memories then you add a layer of bananas doesn't have to be perfect it is good and taste and another row of vanilla wafers. This is the best way to eat banana pudding. Sometimes I'll go like to a restaurant and I'll order it and I'm like, eh, it just doesn't taste right. Then you add another round of bananas. 
Okay, I'm gonna keep a sim on this and then I'll be right back. Now we always finish the recipe with putting some around the sides, a little decorative. Take them off, you get like a little bit of pudding with your cracker. And I can remember when I was a little girl, I always snuck those. <laughs> Mama look in there and there'd be like three of them missing. Or just like tip it and eat it. Favorites. And now you have Granny's banana pudding recipe. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.